Katie Ha. Um, this is I Want a Dog Part 3. We went through several, didn't we? I Want a Dog Part 1, I Want a Dog Part 2, <sighs> and now I Want a Dog Part 3. We thought we'd... Um, Most overdone. It was very subject. overdone, wasn't it, hun? Um, and this one is quite good because we have a finale. You see him? Come here. He made an appearance in a previous episode. This is our new little boy. His name is Jax. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> People are going to think you're just abusing him. <laughs> Come here, little man. Come here, little girl. There you Come go. Here. Here we go. He's a big boy. He's just been napping. He's so, been so sleepy. Look at and he's quiet. He doesn't. You he's know, very chill. He isn't just he? pretty much lays around the whole time. All we're showing your bits to the world here. Yeah, don't show your picker. Look at him. He's a little stud muffin in town. So, um, one of the we've had him what two months now? Yeah. Two months of heaven, and uh, he really truly is just so much fun. He's really good with Kiwi and Georgia. You know we've. We've got two kitties as well, and uh, he's six years old, and he's just a big old bundle of love, yeah. He's just like, what is going on? So, um, one of the questions I had, like, obviously, you know, I had two cats, moved in, now we have a dog, and getting Jacks was a bit of a, bit of a toughie, because I had to kind of fight for it. It was like a kid, like, I had to write, like, you know how I would do it. It was definitely that. It was definitely that, wasn't that hun? Well, I want to preface by saying that we had finally agreed after many things that during the fall we would get one, which was right about now or October. Yeah. Is when we were talking about, okay, we'll get one. We'd already decided on a red. Oh, we'd give a little coffee for us. <laughs> but, um, I have honestly, I mean, grew up with small dogs. Dogs sat for many people, large, small dogs. I love dogs. Anyone that sees me around them, I love them. I get my little baby talk just like everyone else. I love them. But as far as living with cats, I had to get used to that. I always loved cats. Took me a while to get used to it in the house. But then I got spoiled because when you went on a trip, you could just put extra food and water out if it was for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And just leave and then come back. So, for someone who had not had a dog before, when she kept pushing this, I, I, was, I felt like a parent explaining, okay, now it's not like having a cat. You have to take them out, because I was not wanting pee pads in the house. I'd done that once before. Not a fan, and just didn't want to have to deal with it. Um, so, uh, we kind of did our little criteria. And I just told her kind of what it takes. It's a lot more. They're not as independent as cats are and can do everything. Mm. And But she had whittled me down, and we finally kind of decided, you know, let's get one that's a little bit older, maybe potty trained. Oh, look at that yawn. We definitely wanted a smaller dog. Definitely a smaller one to make sure it get up the stairs all right and everything would be good with cats, stuff like that. So she would basically, even though we said the fall, for many, many, many months, I would constantly get texts or shares on Facebook with other dogs, which I constantly was like, no, 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 too. Mm -hmm. So when we decided for the fall, I kind of, you know, I, I had that in mind. I had this small dog rescue that I had been um, following a lot of. And the second I saw Jax's picture and I read the description, I knew that he was the dog for us. I don't know what it was. I don't think it was anything other than I just knew. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> and I knew that he would... My biggest concern was for our cats. I wanted the cats to be able to, you know, get along with them. I didn't want a cat dog that chased them. I didn't want a dog that, and, and, you know, was any bit aggressive to them. And I knew he'd be good because of his temperament. Um, he is older, so he doesn't have that kind of puppiness about him, but he does, he, he's playful. He's just quite docile. Mommy gets the playful out of him. I he get the playful. He just sleeps a lot, takes it easy, but he's healthy. He has all his shots now. Yeah. He had a hard life, from what we understand. 
Very hard life. And, he, you know, so he was had been through a lot of surgeries early on, but he is good and healthy, and he's just a snuggle dog and will just lay there. But he's mama's baby. I mean, he's next to me now, but this does not happen much. It's yeah. not that This is new. This is not something that we It only very typically often. happens when mother is away where Jax cannot see or she is just Here. gone. Yeah, or yeah. something. But because when mom's around, he could give a crap about anyone else in the room. And it's not just you. It's anyone. It really is. It's anyone. He follows and everything else, which is fine. That's his mama. And he cares and loves her, and she gets some playful out of him now and all. And he's gotten to meet a lot of our friends. So sweet dog, great. And I mean, it supports the, back. supports the rescue cause as well, because that was such a great place. Such a great place. It's called a place of hope. Small dog rescue out and of Pensacola. Out of Pensacola. They did a and great job. Gosh, they were so good. They paid for his neuter. Um, and I mean, he, well, I think the adoption fee paid for Well, that does, yeah. but I mean, they, that's Take included care of it all. It. It's all included. All his shots. Got them all groomed up at Ooh, the time we got them. Woo, goodness. So. But we, needless to say, it was a bit of a, um, a bit of a hard slog getting him here. You know, I had to kind of plead my case. So my question is, what has been the craziest and the best lesson that you have learned together about parenting a dog? Maybe about each other, about yourself, because well, you've had dogs, you, but like you've also... Honestly, it was dealing with you, and I learned that you took up responsibility and did it, because honestly, it felt like, because other responsibilities through probably past Man Friend podcast have been like, okay, I'm going to do it, and then <laughs> I end up doing it all. And that's why I felt like the parent to the kid getting a dog, like the kid's like... I promise I'll feed. I promise I'll take care of it. I'll pay for them with my allowance yeah. and I'll take them out and clean up any poop. And then when it actually happens, who does it? But so, um, so that that's what I thought bizarre. was going to happen. It was bizarre that I. But just... she, you know, and that's probably why they've gotten so attached as well. Because I mean, I've, you know, I'll help take care of the cats and all that, and I'll help where it's needed. But she has taken the reins and. Has been helping potty train him. He wasn't bad. He just needed a little routine set back up. Yeah. But she is, you have done great. So I think that is something that, I mean, I knew you would take care of him, but it is, you know, you've taken it and done a great job with him. That's interesting. What about um, my parenting style? I think it's good. I think I had to draw you back sometimes, like when the first pee or poop might have happened in the house. Yeah. Which it didn't happen a lot. but Not I'm, at all. It doesn't happen I at mean, all it would now. happen kind of in the overnight thing. Yeah. You know, we would still take him out a bunch, but I think while he was getting used in the first few weeks, there was still sometimes a pee and a poop, even though you'd take him out into the night. Mm. But, and you would get so mad. You wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do, do anything You'd to be him, so no. mad. Just, oh my gosh, I'm so mad and frustrated like you were failing. And that's where I would draw back and say, for one, it could be a lot worse. Number two, you're doing a good job and a routine will set in. And three, you just, you know, it's good to be mad. And we kind of, you know. I never was mad towards him. I want to make that clear. Like, No, I we started, I mean. Annoyed towards... and within myself. I felt like I was failing because I wasn't doing right by him. She thought it would just change like that. She yeah. used cats go into their litter box. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's not going to be that way with a dog. They're just going to take a while. But towards the end, you know, she's gotten a good routine down. We're plumping him up a little bit finally. You know, he's eating more food. Yeah. But, um, no, it's good. I think that was about the only thing. I just, think the thing for me that has actually been quite interesting is our parenting style. Mm -hmm. Like, I always thought that I'd be um, the calm one and you would be the worry wart and be mm -hmm. high maintenance and really like, raw. you know, that was not the case at all. I was the worry wart. You were the calm as cucumber. It, there's nothing wrong. I mean, I've seen dog, ever, like other people who've had dogs. I mean, they can be a lot crazier, a lot more hyper. They could be in poop a lot more. They can chew up and destroy a lot more. We didn't have it bad at all. He was older. He's very docile. He's cute. He's lovable. So it wasn't anything bad. So I think I realized when you were just going full force, I was like, hey, uh, you know, she's got it. I just have to reel you back sometimes. Hmm. Now, if a daughter ever comes in the picture, <laughs> you'll just... Um, I'd be the one really new and... 
Well, I mean, obviously, probably I would, you know, uh, once, once some of the cell phones and boys or girls would come in the picture, I would, um, yeah, I'd be a hard person to deal with. I'm already Mario. stressed about it, and I had, nothing's even happened. And That's I, why you raised a strong daughter, hon. Yeah, and you keep a tracker on her car. Steven, and, uh, stop. You will not. Mm -mm. That's silly. You raise a strong daughter. Okay, yeah. so what's your question for me when it comes to dog, dog parenting, all that? What, um, what ended up being the hardest part of the transition from cat mom to dog mom? Well, if you look back, was something that was harder than you expected. I'd say getting, I mean, I'll answer. It seemed like it was getting up in the morning and taking them out, taking them out numerous times during the day. It, the potty training was hard, but I, I actually, I know this sounds a bit silly, but the first couple of times that, because um, we started doing a little bit of crate training to get some independence, um, and just the hardest part for me is knowing that he had a rough. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's going to start crying. He had a rough life, but he's in a house and he's in his forever home. She has done this and teared up numerous times. She's That's the hardest fine. part is knowing that someone was mean to him. And it really, that really is the hard, like I think about my cats and I, you know me, I yeah. get teared up about them. I think about, mm -hmm. you know, just, it, it just, that whole people that abuse animals has just made me so like, you know, my cats have never had mm. anything like that, but Jax has. And so I think that that's the hardest part for me is just knowing that that has happened. But, you know, just and just knowing the trust he's putting in me, mm -hmm. you know, to be a good parent. And, you and know, the description, sorry to interrupt. I mean, for those who haven't met Jax or didn't see posts that she's done, um, the description said they think he was a bait dog. So for fighting dogs... Sometimes, you know, they put the weaker ones in the cage or whatever else. Um, when they found him, I mean, it could have been one dog fight. We don't really know. Yeah, it could have but been. But either way, he had a bunch of puncture wounds when he was found and brought to the shelter. And apparently, like, above his eye was where it was really hurt. Like, they thought he might lose his eye. But, I mean, now, the vet that did all the surgeries with him... I mean, when we got him, there was maybe the remnant of some scabs that had healed. You and know, his were eye, like that, was shaved. And yeah, but that. everything is fine with him now. So and his they did fur a wonderful is getting job. Quite soft now. Yeah, yeah, but you know, he went. No matter. I mean, who knows how scared the little man is? You know, or who did the abuse? That's why we, you know sometimes we think he'd never mean anybody, but he might shy away from men more than women. Yeah, it's probably because a man's the one who put him in the cage or did something else. But yeah. we don't know. We don't know it is history. We can only love him now. Yeah, but that's probably the hardest, and I think it, it's very, it just, it, it, it's kind of one of those things, like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the same, but, like, having a, a child, like, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, there's just a sense of responsibility that I didn't quite think I, I expected, mm -hmm. especially with a rescue dog, but also just in general, because dogs are so much more needy. I felt yeah. like that was just a whole new thing for me. Well, I understand that. On a funny note, they have, for the first few weeks, Cammie and Jax had their own little club. We did. Because we didn't, have, we didn't have the kennel in yet. Yeah. We hadn't gotten routines down, so she would go upstairs and kind of sleep with them because we hadn't fully integrated the cats in yet. It yeah, was it was a, gradual a slow thing. process, which was perfect. So me and the cats were in our own club, and we were like the loser club because <laughs> those two were just in love Come with here. each other over here. And Come here. Baby. Nothing else mattered. So we just felt like outcasts and losers. And now um, it has progressed to where we'll let jo Jax in the bed. That has been a new So thing. whenever Daddy just moves somewhere or whatever, Jax lays on Daddy's side, uses his pillow and everything. You see where it's going. He wants all the attention. And his goal is to root me and the cats out. I'm just saying Y'all are going to see it down the line. I'm going to be living up here with the two cats, and her and Jax are going to have the rest of the house. That's how it works, and that's, that's right. Jax's plan. That's right. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. We're so loving it, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, please. All right. You love it. Yeah. Bye. Bye.